Hi, Bob here to show you FLIR's point-and-shoot line of i-series thermal imagers. These are extremely easy to use infrared cameras. They're rugged, light and portable, and to top it off, they're the most affordable thermal imaging camera available. Maybe you're in plant or facility maintenance looking for a simple camera for occasional troubleshooting. An HVAC contractor inspecting ductwork and compressors. Or an electrician or utility troubleman would like one handy all the time for quick scans and safety checks. FLIR i-Series is going to be a good fit in all those cases. Definitely the right tool for instant non-contact temperature measurements and the way to see hidden problems before they get away from you. Now let's start with the i3. Nothing less expensive is going to be this fast and this reliable at finding equipment that's running too hot or maybe about to fail. One of these heat map imaging thermometers might work in a few applications with large enough targets, but just a little more for an i3 buys a lot more honest-to-goodness thermal imaging power. The kind of quality and accuracy you need to inspect smaller components at a safer distance. See the difference? The i3's 60x60 thermal detector provides 3600 measurement pixels in each image, and it produces a recognizable thermal picture of the scene on the 2.8 inch LCD. You can see it shows you where the hot spot is right away. It also gives you a 50 to 1 spot size ratio, so you can scan 1 inch targets 50 inches away and get an accurate temperature. Compare that to a single spot IR thermometer with only one average reading at a time and no image at all to show you where to measure. All i-series cameras have a focus free lens for easy scanning. Just power up, flip open the lens, and get ready to scan. A simple interface lets you set emissivity and other parameters so you're detecting correctly. You can also change the color palette to the one that works best, lock the temperature range, and so on. Every i-series camera also stores thousands of radiometric JPEG images. Pull them up in the archive, or import them later to a Mac or PC with the USB cable, or from the removable SD card. Then you can use the easy FLIR Tools software we include to tune and analyze the images further. Adjust the levels, change the palette, add more measurement tools. Capturing images that have all this stored temperature data and analyzing it later makes it easier to measure any spot on the image. Certainly beats jotting down dozens of readings from one of these. Even better, FLIR tools can help you create a professional report in no time to reinforce your findings so you get an answer back faster and you can get repairs underway. Need more power? The i5 gives you 10,000 pixels. That's over two and a half times the imaging and measurement resolution of the i3. Plus, the i5 gives you a wider view to cover more area and greater sensitivity to kick up the quality. To image even more clearly, the i7 has the most resolution in the i-series class. At 140 by 140, it's almost 20,000 pixels. It's also got the widest field of view to capture more of the scene for quicker scans. Along with the spot meter, an i7 also gives you an in-camera area box tool with an automatic marker to find hot spots quicker. Plus, you can set an isotherm to alert you when something is above or below a specific temperature threshold. And all i-series cameras come with FLIR's 2510 warranty that covers the detector for 10 full years, batteries for 5, and parts and labor for 2. Now, if you're going to be using your camera to do more frequent inspections and reports, and you need reference photos to go along with your thermal images, check out FLIR's E-Series. They have a ton of productivity features that can really help you breeze through inspections, like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth communication, more measurement tools, and higher resolution and temperature range options. E-Series definitely offers the best imagery and price to performance value in their class. So be sure to look at E-Series before you make your decision.